You asked, how much energy does my TV use? Most of us have one TV at home, or two, or three, or even four nowadays. It's crazy. I mean, there's a TV here, there's a TV there, there's a TV everywhere. It's everywhere, this thing. It's out of control. And our kids, they're not just on the TV for half an hour. They're on there for hours playing games. So an electricity guzzler could actually be your TV. So the question is, how much electricity does my TV use? Firstly, try to avoid plasma TVs because the older style technology uses often two, three, or even four times the energy what a modern OLED or LED TV uses. So the first thing is, um, modern TVs use much less electricity than the older style. And the uh, modern TVs, depending on the size of it, use between 90 watts and maybe 400 watts an hour. So let's say on average, if you use TV for four hours a day and you have a 250 watt consumption TV, then you're looking approximately at about 30 cents to run that TV per day, uh, which is about nine to ten dollars a month. So that's the running cost for an average TV in a household. But obviously, if you have three or four TVs, that could easily become $40 uh, every month, $120 a quarter, etc. So how do you actually reduce the consumption within your TV to make it a little bit more energy efficient? So most modern TVs have actually an energy setting inside, which is kind of like an energy saving setting, which maybe makes the screen a little bit less bright. And in those cases, that can actually be a very smart thing to enable that, number one. Number two, there are people who decide to use the TV as a pacifier and a babysitter for their dogs or for their children, etc. And maybe it is not really making any sense to run the TV to have the dog a bit less lonely. I mean, just turn the damn thing off. I don't believe it makes any difference in the well-being of the dog or the cat or whatever, but it makes a big difference in your electricity bill. Also, please consider that if you're the kind of person who falls asleep in front of the TV and has it running another five or six hours, there are actually timer settings within the TV, so why don't you just set it that at 12.30 it turns itself automatically off. If you know by then you're snoring away and the thing's just running away and costing you money. So there is another option how to save electricity via the uh, modern functions on the TV. Also, obviously, the larger the TV is, the more electricity it uses. And nowadays, obviously, TVs have become bigger and bigger. But for the kids and for the side room, maybe consider, do I really need the largest model? Is a 43 inch good enough? Is a 55 inch good enough? So when you choose those TVs, make sure that you look at the energy star rating because on the TV itself in Australia and New Zealand it is mandatory now to show what the consumption will be over a year and it also has an energy star rating and while we're considering the features and the looks and all those things for TVs my advice is do look at the energy star rating and buy the model with the lowest rating because of the life of the TV bit five or ten years that will make a big difference in the running costs for that machine. So, in summary, use the energy saving features. If you fall asleep at night, use the timers. Buy the latest technology and look at the energy star ratings. And if you do all of those things, then your television is not going to be a huge money pit for your electricity bill. Want more Energy Answered? Visit yourenergyanswers.com for quality energy products tools and calculators and find your quality local installers. Please support the channel by liking the video, hit that subscribe button and ring the bell and check out all our other videos. You're still here? I'll see you next time. Bye.